Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kompor, Malaysia. In this video, I want to revisit the ISO 200 challenge. I'm going to shoot with my OM system, OM1 camera, staying with just ISO 200, tackling some low light shooting conditions. Let's do this! I have actually done the ISO 200 challenge before. I'll put the link to the video up here. Please check it out if you have not done so. I'm revisiting this challenge because, hey, I want to explore the capabilities of this OM system, OM1's image stabilization system. We know that the 5-axis image stabilization is so powerful that in low light conditions, we don't really need to bump up the ISO if we are shooting subjects that's not moving too quickly. And I have here the OM system, OM1, and I'm attaching the excellent Panasonic 9mm f1.7 lens and we're gonna shoot everything handheld and I believe that with just ISO 200 it is enough to get all the shots that I need even if I need to stretch the shot speeds in dangerously slow say to two or four seconds or even slower we'll see what kind of shots that we can get Some people will ask, hey Robin, why ISO 200? Well, with ISO 200, you get the best possible image quality out of the image sensor because it is the base ISO for most micro four thirds cameras. And it's definitely the base ISO for this OM system or M1. With ISO 200, you get the best possible noise control, you get the best dynamic range, image tonality, you squeeze every resolution, you just get the optimized image quality if you just stay with ISO 200. And even shooting in very dark environment, trusting the capabilities of the 5 axis image stabilization, I'm sure this OM system, OM1, can get you the shots that is completely shake free. If you have not tried stretching the shutter speeds in low light conditions, I suggest you try it with your Olympus cameras or any cameras with image stabilization. You'll be surprised by how well the stabilization works and you don't really need to move to very high ISO which will create images with nasty high ISO noise. I do admit that this particular technique of slowing down the shutter speeds and trusting the image stabilization, it doesn't work in all situations, especially if you have moving subjects, then you have no choice but to push the ISO numbers higher to freeze motion. But hey, you know what? Technical obsession will not go you anywhere. High ISO noise is not the end of the world. Even if there is some noise in images, that is perfectly fine. If you need to increase the ISO numbers, then you increase it. The the important thing is to nail the shot and capture that moment. For me, I've never really obsessed about high ISO noise. I think it is perfectly fine. Even today's Micro Four Thirds cameras, that's perfectly capable of handling some high ISO in low light shooting. But that's an entirely different topic today.
today we are dealing with just ISO 200. And if you're dealing with subjects that's not moving or moving slowly, I suggest that you try to lower your ISO number to get the best possible output from your Olympus OMD cameras or OM system cameras. There is always that myth that says, oh, micro filter system, because the image sensor is so small, it is not possible to shoot in low light. And when the night comes, you know, just put the camera away and you need a full frame camera. Well, honestly, I've never had any struggles shooting in low light. Micro Four Thirds cameras have come a long way. And overall, the system, if you pair with a bright lens like this, 9mm f1.7 Panasonic, you do get, get quite a capable system. Use bright aperture lens, f1.8, f1.4, f1.2 lens, paired with any micro filters cameras with powerful image stabilization, you can definitely handle any low light shooting conditions. Some of you have asked me this question before. Hey Robin, how do you record the viewfinder on your camera while you are shooting on the streets? Well, the answer is very simple. I have an external HDMI capture device. I attach it on my camera and I use the micro HDMI to HDMI cable to output the video from the camera. The viewfinders feed into the recorder and I actually recorded everything that's happening live and so that you guys can see what's happening in front of me, what's happening directly in my viewfinder, how I compose my shots or the settings that I change before I click the shutter button. I thought there's another interesting POV style video that I can do to show you that, hey, I really did use ISO 200, I didn't cheat, and I really did capture all these shots through my camera. That's all I have to share about this ISO 200 challenge using my OM system, OM1 camera with the Panasonic 9mm f1.7. I hope you can see this camera, you just have to stick with ISO 200, trust the camera's amazing 5x6 image stabilization, you can get some awesome shots even when the lighting gets really dim. And if you don't believe me, go out and try it yourself. If you found my sharing beneficial, if you've enjoyed looking at my photographs, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal links in the description below on how I can do that any small contribution goes a long way it will definitely help me to continue making more content and publish them right here until the next one please go out and take more photographs bye bye Thank you.